Would you not say that is adulting in terms of you have to be cautious of what you're saying because you're right, everybody is different. Everybody's interpretation is different. Everybody's understanding is different. And you have to be the cautious. way the way that you communicate a a, 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 a a a thing to somebody, right, also influences because it's you saying it. Mm-hmm. Like you've perfectly put, you know, there's distinction from with the word and then there's also your influence when saying that word. Do you understand? And that is also a factor. So you yeah, you're right, you can't factor how that person interpretates that word, but at the same time you also have to factor how you say that word. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if 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 two people taking it away from you know the example you gave, if two people are still in a relationship or in a situation where the communication might not be that great, but they want to make it work, I think essentially the question I'm asking is how how then do they bypass that? How what 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 is the effect? Well you have to go and dig deep into yourself and figure out why you're triggered by certain words and certain things. Because the reality is it won't be just me. It'll be worse because it's me because I'm the closest person to you in a relationship. But these triggers are going to happen to you all the time and you're going to feel a way about it. For example, I get told all the time, Gabs, you're so funny, man. You're just a joker. Why are you such a clown? Why should you do this? My response is always sometimes and I laugh. Because the truth of the matter is I am a clown sometimes. Sometimes I am funny. Sometimes I am cool. Sometimes I'm a bit, yeah. Sometimes I'm normal. Sometimes I'm a professional. But upon a time, if you said that thing to me too many times, I'd think you're trying to mug me off. That's an insecurity. Can you see that? Why am I being mugged off by something that really and truly I do sometimes? But before that, if you said it to me before, I understood that. Boy, then I might have to raise my chest up a bit and be a bit like, what are you trying to say? Now, I just put sometimes because the truth of the matter is, boy, if all you think is that I'm a funny prick chatting fraff, then you, you, you clearly don't know me, which is fine. You know, what can I say? Enjoy it. Do you get it? No, I get it. But to react to something that really and truly I, I know I'm not, it's a bit like, what's the point? Which is why I said to you, in a meeting, I have no shame in saying, what does that mean? You know who did that for me one time? I was watching, um, what's that program? The Alan Sugar Appre- Apprentice. There was one guy, one white guy, I can't remember what the guy's name is. And he, um, he kept on saying some stuff. I don't know what he was saying. And Alan Sugar said, um, can you talk in plain English, please? you got all these fancy words and da 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 Just give it to us plain. Because the way you're explaining what you're explaining, you're explaining it in a way where you're saying everything but saying nothing. And that's because you're using all these special words. And everybody else thought it was funny. Because what you find with a lot of people is the way in which you have confidence is by speaking intellectually. Or using big words to basically express yourself. And the reality is, is you don't need to do that all the time. And if you, if you do do that, fine. If you don't understand it, all you need to do is say, I don't understand. He showed me in that moment there, as a millionaire, or billionaire, or whatever he is. Boy, I don't understand all the words you're saying. Talk normally. And you know what he did? He spoke normally. Now, if a billionaire or a millionaire, whoever he is, how big he is, can do that, why can't you and I? Why do we? Why must we get offensive? Why must we get sorry defensive and stuff like that? Why? And that's something I watched years ago. What's the problem? So I'll tell you, even with my own baby mama, my own situation, I used to get very defensive of her, but that wasn't her. It was nothing to do with what she was saying or what she was doing. It was my own insecurities. The reality is, is that when she was saying things. It hurt me and it affected me in a certain kind of way. And that's because I didn't see myself in the way that... So, I saw myself in a way, but I didn't feel myself in the way that I saw myself. That was something I had to go and tackle. So now, when you talk to me now, I was like, yeah, all right. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I don't get it. Explain it to me again. So you just said something just now and you was asking me a bunch of questions. What did I say? What, what do you mean by that? I'm not going to try to answer something I don't understand. And if I don't understand it and that makes me thick, maybe I'm thick sometimes. No. 
Exactly. But to argue back or be combative with you or to try and force you to understand what I'm saying makes no sense. That's not communication. That's you just being argumentative. Why am I going to argue? It don't make no sense. I don't mind you arguing with me. If you're a female, it turns me on. I find it quite cute. But I ain't going to take it back with you. Like, it don't make no sense to me. But that's my toxic trait. That's what makes me mean. 